Welcome back to NFL Infected, where a contagious virus has randomly started in one NFL locker room. This virus has the ability to boost every starter on said team by five overall. So who will start as the infected for today? The Buffalo Bills. Oh, that's scary. Now that the Buffalo Bills are deemed the infected, it is their goal to go around this imperialism-inspired map and infect the remainder of the league. Their final goal will look something like this, in hopes they win a game against every other team and achieve the magic number, 231 infected tiles. However, this disease is rapidly mutating, and while so, the disinfected are creating new ways to combat it. Strands act as power-ups for the infected, where vaccinations act as power-ups for the disinfected. We will cover these more in a second. That's because today I made some quality of life changes. If you remember in episode 1, the infected team only had 3 lives. That was noticeably low, so it's been up to 5. Also, the arrow spinner will not be in use anymore. Instead, a randomizer will decide the next opponent for the infected. Well, if the arrow isn't used anymore, how does the infected team get hexes? Well, I introduced a new mechanic for this series, and it's all based on point differential. For example, if the infected Bills beat the Panthers with a score of 27 to 20, their point differential was plus 7, which will give the infected 7 hexes on the map. So back to the strands, because total hexes is how the infected will claim them. As you can see, we have 5 different strands in today's episode, and they will be unlocked in increments of 40 hexes. Their identity will be revealed as the virus progresses. Vaccinations will be heavily in work as we progress as well, and as you can see, vaccinations are given to the disinfected in increments of 5 teams being infected. Hopefully these faxes will be enough to combat the ever so changing infection. So now we will begin NFL infected number 2. Will the Buffalo Bills infect the entire United States or will the disinfected eliminate the virus? It all starts now. Alright, so before we begin our first spin, let's take a look at the infected team because as I said, this virus boosts all their starters by 5 overall. So this is just a look at the top players now. Stefan Diggs is now a 99 overall and now Josh Allen at a 98 overall. I wonder if this is going to change how much interceptions he's going to throw. Now even though Tredavious White currently is injured and out for the year essentially I believe I can still put him in the game so I decided to boost him up five overall it really does suck how many players the Bills have injured in real life Von Miller is going to be a really good player for this team a 96 overall now then you're going to have Jordan Poyer as well at safety at a 95 you can see Micah Hyde also at 95 so you can just see a lot of players boosting the 90s they have a pretty solid starting cast so here is the starting map Buffalo starting with the infection now we're going to start spinning the wheel in hopes of the goal that they can infect 31 other teams I'm interested to see how this new system is going to work, but the first team they're going to try to infect is going to be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You know, for the infected team being an 87 overall, I had higher expectations for them not to be up by 7 against Baker Mayfield, but nonetheless, Mayfield just throws this to nowhere, and it's going to be 4th down and 10, in which from his own 12-yard line, he's just going to throw it as far as he can, which is probably like 40 yards. In this case, it's actually going to be almost a completion, but it's knocked down first win of the day for the infected. Whoa, look at this. It seems like the Bills know what I'm doing in this episode. They understand that the more points they score, the point differential is going to give more hexes so they just added a field goal which is gonna make it 20 to 10 and they're gonna walk out with 10 positive hexes good job bills you have an understanding oh yeah in case you forgot there's players stealing in essentially everything i do so in this case they're gonna steal the best player i could give them from the tampa bay buccaneers which actually is pretty solid considering matt milano got injured it's gonna be levante david filling in that void at middle linebacker so even though the disease started up north in buffalo they took a trip down the disney world just to spread a virus how cruel of them and like i said it's going off point differential now so they won by 10 points which means they get 10 hexes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 wow that's perfect so now they own 12 hexes in total including the 10 they got for winning and then buccaneers and the bills hex and now there's two out of 32 teams infected hopefully you guys like this method a little bit better it definitely works a lot smoother than it used to at the past but now we have the new orleans saints what kind of sorry ass disease are you guys spreading i mean you couldn't get a class of kindergartner sick off of this winning six to nothing i mean this is the common cold i apologize guys i did not know i was watching an iowa football game here six to nothing right now third down and eight Derek Carr just needs to get a couple of yards in fact he's gonna get taken down by guess who Von Miller who's now in 96 overall thanks to this disease he apparently has what's really embarrassing is I gave the infected team two more lives because I thought three was just not enough and in this case it looks like they might lose them pretty damn early my early Christmas wish for this year is to see one first down in this game and so far it looks like that's not gonna happen because we're just throwing check downs for one yard gains and now third down and nine from the 28 yard line what do I expect here absolutely nothing there's another sack for Von Miller. <laughs> Maybe side effects from this disease is that their offense decides to play like complete shit for both sides. Who knows? Fourth down and 17. They're gonna go for it. Just gonna throw it up. Hold up a second. We have a- Oh my 
my goodness. How do you not catch that? It was Michael Thomas. He's too used to catching slant passes only that he can't catch a little love ball like that. So nonetheless, the Bills take over. I imagine they win this game 6 to nothing. Once again, the Buffalo Bills realize they can capitalize and get some more points. So they're going to win this game 9 to nothing. Not like they deserve it at all. I really don't know what got into my head that game. I feel like every sentence I uttered, it was me complaining about something. If I didn't give them Levante David last game, I can't give them to Mario Davis this game. So instead, Silasad pick up on defense, Marshawn Lattimore. I'm not too sure what the Buffalo Bills have against the NFC South, but now that's two out of four of them knocked out to the infection. And now you can see the disease is starting to spread down south. We have three infected teams and a total of 22 infected hexes. They're already halfway to their next power-up. Maybe this new hex system is a little too overpowered, and it might get a little bit worse because their next is going to be the Carolina Panthers. What is up with the NFC South right now? You have to be serious right now, Bills. I mean, like, what is this? I mean, maybe it's just the South. We all know the South has no tolerance for any disease, because look at this. I mean, if you guys remember in COVID lockdown, the North was super scared of it, and the South just couldn't care less. I mean, seriously, that's what's going on here. The disease just does not phase them, and now it's third down and 15 for the Buffalo Bills, who are down by not only a touchdown, but the two-point conversion to possibly the worst team in football right now, the Carolina Panthers, and they almost throw an interception. You can blame Josh Allen for that one. Wow, they seriously don't trust their defense in this situation. That's kind of concerning now, so they're going to go for a first down. Josh Allen just throws it to nowhere. He is seeing ghosts and demons out there today. Now the Carolina Panthers take over and essentially win this game. Let's see if Bryce Young can actually get a touchdown here as he sidearms it to the end zone. Oh my goodness, that was more impressive than any anything Josh Allen's done today. DJ Chark with a touchdown, and this is huge for the Carolina Panthers because they're just going to rack up points, and this is going to kill the point differential for the infected team. Second and goal from the four, Josh Allen's going to scramble out of this one, actually stiff arms, and completes a touchdown pass. Okay, they're in this game. That's going to help. Honestly surprised they're not going to kick this normally because they do have three timeouts. That was the easiest onside recovery in the world, and the Carolina Panthers will win this football game. And so this means the point differential was negative eight for the Bills. They're going to lose eight hexes. And so truth be told, I knew this was going to happen eventually, but whoever is going to beat the Bills is going to take their best player away. The Panthers will hold on to Stephon Diggs for the meanwhile. So now, as you can see, I am taking away eight tiles away from the Buffalo Bills, which is going to put them at a total of 14 total hexes. And can't forget the most important part, that was loss number one of potential five, which means the Buffalo Bills infection is down to four lives. So we stay at 29 remaining teams. They're going to need a rebound after that one. That was kind of embarrassing. Now we're going to go to Washington to play the Commanders. So yeah, this was a much needed win to get back on track. They're going to win this by 10 points to give them 10 hexes back from that subtraction. And with this win, they'll find Stephon Diggs' replacement for the meantime. It will be Terry McLaurin. So far, the disease has just been eradicating on the East Coast right now. And by the look of things, the disinfected will get a power up first. They're going to get a vaccination after one more team is infected, unless somehow the infected can get 25 hexes on this next win. So no matter what, we're going to see a power up in use after this game, and it's going to go out west for the first time today to the Las Vegas Raiders. Holy hell, call the Bills rogue too because they just blew up the Death Star. They just beat the Raiders 40 to 3, so that's going to give them 37 total infected hexes. So I think we're actually going to see a power up for both sides in play after this game. So the first act of matter was to give the Bills their player steal, and just based on how he's been playing this year, I decided to give Max Crosby to the Buffalo Bills over Devontae Adams. So after I color in the Raiders hex red, the map is going to look noticeably different. So it's going to go from looking like this to looking like this. So as you can see now, we have five infected teams and 63 total infected hexes, which means we meet the criteria for both getting the first vaccination and the first strand. We'll start the vaccination first. So now, as you can see, five teams have been infected, which means we unlock the first vaccination for the disinfected. This one is called Safeguard. So starting now for the next three wins for the infected team, they cannot steal any players whatsoever. So this could really definitely hurt the infected team not getting players for three straight games. And now for the infected, taking a look at the strand progression. Remember, it's going by increments of 40 total hexes. They just got over that. They're currently at 63 right now, which means they're going to get the first strand which is dead rising. And this strand is going to give the Buffalo Bills a 99 overall Hall of Fame legend that's been on that team's history. You know, maybe he's not the greatest player to ever play for the Buffalo Bills, but this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I cannot pass on this. I wonder if he's going to wear two gloves as well when he plays football. So no player steals for the next three games, and now we have O. 
OJ Simpson got it, and we're going against the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, no. Never a dull moment when these two teams match up. The Bills and Chiefs. The Bills are currently going down for a game-winning field goal right now. Hopefully, they leave a little under 13 seconds on the board this time. From their own 40, Josh Allen stands still, delivers this one. That's going to be a completion into Chiefs territory at the 42. Still out of field goal range, though. They could use a little bit more yards than this as Josh Allen will deliver, and he'll get about nine right here. That's going to put them in perfectly range, and now the Chiefs are calling timeouts. The Bills got to be careful here. They don't want to score too early as they have a handoff to OJ Simpson. He has a touchdown. He must have been killing it this game. I probably shouldn't say that. Nonetheless, they're going to make it 38 to 31 with this OJ Simpson touchdown. <laughs> Okay. But they still left 45 seconds on the board, which really makes no sense. Let's see if Patrick Mahomes can respond. And with only three seconds left from midfield, Mahomes just has to throw this one about 55 total yards to get this to the end zone, in which it will get there. And ooh, it was actually pretty close. But nonetheless, the Bills get a much needed win here. They're going to get seven more hexes with a seven point win as well. Unfortunately, I did not think of this. The, because of the safeguard vaccination, they cannot get a player steal for this game and the next two after that which means they just missed out on Travis Kelsey. That actually really hurts. But still, nonetheless, they knock off probably their biggest rival on the map right now, and they're going to have six infected teams with a total of 70 infected hexes. Down to 26 total disinfected teams. Okay, this should be an easy one. Well, damn, never mind me. I guess everyone on the Cardinals is double boosted with the vaccination. They're 6-3 to three winning right now, and it's going to be second down the 10 for the 22-yard line. Maybe they can get some more points, which would really suck for the Bills, considering they're going to need as many hexes as possible. And as you can see, Kyler Murray is finally playing football again as he brings in a two-minute warning from the 10-yard line. The Cardinals are feeling really devious right now. They want to take down six tiles instead of three, so they're going to make it nine to three to close out this game and also going to take off another loss to the Bills. How will they lose to the Cardinals? Even worse, two of their infected losses this video are the Cardinals and Panthers. I mean, they literally just beat the Chiefs one game ago. So now since they lost by six, we get to subtract six total tiles in total, so there you go. And that makes their second life loss in this video, which means they're down to three. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot this does mean they do lose a player. I'm not going to give them OJ Simpson because he doesn't have the X factor potential. So I'm going to give them Max Crosby. Also can't give him Josh Allen because we don't trade quarterbacks around here. Yeah, that was completely embarrassing. We're going to need a rebound against the Cleveland Browns now. I'd say this is a make or break game for the Buffalo Bills considering the Cleveland Browns are down by five points and they're looking to make a statement and take a lead. Now the 38. They're going to go for it. This is probably the best decision, but if they don't get this, this game is over. They're actually going to pass the football, but they have someone in the flat. That's a first down staying and bow to the two minute warning. Third down in five, 35 seconds to Sean Watson, seven yards out, gets the first down at least, and caught at the two yard line is really gonna call the first timeout to Amari Cooper. Third down and goal, no timeouts. What's the play call here? It's gonna be a Deshaun Watson pass. Can he get out of the pocket? Gets it and throws it out of bounds. It's a smart decision. It's gonna be fourth down and goal, however. For the win, four yards out, quick pass, and it's a touchdown. Cleveland Browns take a lead. Two point attempt to make it a field goal worth game. Deshaun Watson gonna pass again, and okay, actually, inter Accepted. Okay, and can't get a return off of it. So it's gonna be a one-point game with 14 seconds left and three timeouts. Interesting. It now places the ball at the 47-yard line of Brown's territory, but it's still a little too long for a field goal. So it's gonna have to be a Hail Mary attempt for Josh Allen. If he somehow finds a way to complete this, this is probably one of the greatest games I've ever witnessed. But no, another win for the disinfected makes it two in a row, and the Bills will drop yet again. And this definitely hurts the Buffalo Bills. He's made a huge impact in this video already, but now Von Miller will join the disinfected alongside Miles Garrett on the Cleveland Browns. You know, actually looking back at the map, I was wrong. They actually have already lost twice, which means they lose another one and they're down to only two lives pretty damn early. And they're only up to 63 infected hexes. They're going to need to get a power up real soon. I mean, I can't blame the Bills too much for that loss. They did play the Cleveland Browns. And to be honest, they're a pretty solid team at the halfway mark of the season. But even though we have reached the midway mark of the season, it is never too late for you to call your own plays. That's because today I am partnering up with Draft. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official partner of the NFL, and they have an offer that you do not want to miss. For you new customers who sign up right now, you can place a $5 wager and receive $200 worth of bonus bets in your account instantly. To receive this offer, you just need to sign up with my promo code DEANSWORLD. If you're signed up already, don't sweat it because you can place a no sweat bet on any same game parlay. That's right, same game parlays allow you to place multiple bets on one singular contest for a shot at a higher payout. So get in the game and download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right 
right now and sign up with my promo code DEANSWORLD. That's DEANSWORLD, all caps. Thanks to DraftKings for today's video sponsor, and let's pick up right where we left off. All right, well, continuing on, the Buffalo Bills only have two lives, but they're going to have an easy game right here. They better win this one. It's the New York Giants. All right, so I'm live spectating this game between the Bills and the Giants, and I'm really hoping the Bills can rack up some points to get some positive gain on the hexes, but currently right now, they're losing to the New York Giants, but now they take a lead at 14-10. They need to keep this going and get some more points because right now, they're only up 21-13. to 13. That's better than what it was before, but now it looks like it going into the fourth quarter. It's going to stay like that, and the Giants will lose 21-13, to 13, which will give the Bills eight positive hexes. That works. And remember, the safeguard vaccination is still in play. That's because it goes off the first three wins, not the first three games. So that's only their second win under the safeguard. So now let's hope the infected can get back on track. They're up to 72 total hexes and 7 out of 32 infected. Next up against the virus will be the Minnesota Vikings. I imagine they should win this game considering Joshua Dobbs is their quarterback. I mean, nothing against... Against Joshua Dobbs, he's been a baller this season, but the Buffalo Bills, obviously the infected team, is just much better. They're going to win by 10, which gives them 10 hexes, and I believe we'll have enough to get the next strand. Never mind, apparently Madden doesn't even have him starting yet. Jaron Hall played that game, but he didn't play too bad. And that was the last win for the infected without getting a player. The safeguard vaccination is now over. And on top of that, they also won by 10, so we get to fill up 10 tiles in total. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now looking in the bottom left, this puts them over the total of 83 infected hexes which is enough to give them their second strand. And now back on the strand progression chart, they reached over 80 infected hexes, which gives them the second strand, which is canister. And this is a very important time to get this said strand. It's pretty straightforward. It's going to give the infected an extra life, which will put them back up to three. So one, two, three, there you have it. You know, it's a good thing I was nice enough to give them five lives because without me, they wouldn't have stand a chance. Now they're going to play the Houston Texans. Only real OGs remember this playoff matchup, which was like five years ago. That was when Deshaun Watson was leading the Houston Texans and we thought he was the future for the franchise but now here's the real future of the franchise but cannot get the pass completion CJ Stroud just a little over the top look at this first down completion he actually might go the distance I don't know how the Houston Texans let this happen this is actually huge for the point differential a touchdown for the Buffalo Bills to Terry McLaurin who just took it like 75 yards to the house so make it total 14 hexes gained from this one win against the Houston Texans and with this win the safeguard vaccination is now up which means we have player stealing back and the first player stealing returning will be Laramie Tunsil from the Houston Texans. And now we have nine infected teams which means the next team to be infected will cause the next vaccination to release in the public. And in total we have 98 infected hexes as now the southwestern part of the map with Texas and Louisiana is starting to get infected. 23 more disinfected teams remaining. We're going to go to the Patriots. I expect an easy win here. Sure enough as I expect the Patriots get taken down by their AFC division opponent the Buffalo Bills. 21 to 13 which is going to add 8 hexes. Literally the Patriots roster is so bad that the best player we could offer was an 80 overall tight end, which is just one better than the current starter being Dalton Kincaid. But yeah, more importantly, 10 teams infected, we have our second vaccination. And so with the Patriots being the 10th team infected in this video, we now have our next vaccination released to the public. It is going to be antibiotic. And I actually nerfed this vaccination just a little bit. It's now going to be the top three players in the infected will lose five overall. It used to be top five players, but in this case, I'm just going to make it a little less hurtful. So these are the current best three players on the infected Bills. It's going to be OJ Simpson, and then you're going to have Josh Allen, and then you're going to have Tredavious White, which actually he is playing. The IR doesn't mean anything. So now after the antibiotic just hit the infected, it's going to look a little bit different at the top as Laramie Tunsil is now the highest overall player, and you can see OJ Simpson dropped all the way down to a 94, Josh Allen dropped down to a 93, and Tredavious White just barely scratched in the 90s. He's now a 91. So that's going to take a toll on the infected, but now we have 22 disinfected teams it's the Carolina Panthers again I don't know why the Carolina Panthers have been the Achilles heel of the infected Bills today but nonetheless they're only down by seven and they're definitely in this game as they get on to white chocolate Adam Thielen for the two minute warning also remember if the Bills can win this game they're gonna get Stefan Diggs back because they stole him originally but now after a sack it's gonna be fourth down and 17 and just a lob up on fourth down and 17 an actual completion are you kidding me third down and goal 11 seconds from the six yard line Bryce Young's gonna scramble out has to throw out fourth and goal now so another fourth down and goal scenario for the infected Bills on defense where Bryce Young is just going to throw the easiest touchdown pass of his life and an extra point will send us the OT what is this? Hold up a second. Are we going to have a kick return touchdown? I was late to the party because I never expect this to happen but 
where was this all game? Look who it is, too. It's OJ Simpson. You gotta be serious right now. Bro really just outran the defense like he was outrunning the police in his Bronco. Well, fourth down and 10 from their own 19 yard line since the Panthers could not answer back, and they will not, as the Bills will get an overtime victory thanks to OJ Simpson. Never thought I'd say that, but here we are. Guess who's back, mother lovers? 11 down, 21 more to go, and they're at 115 infected hexes, which means they're actually close to their next strand. Next from the wheel will be the Miami Dolphins. Oh no, this is a tough one. AFC East throwdown. As you guys know, the Black Death could arrive in Florida, and they still wouldn't be scared, so that's why they're actually in this game, and they do have slight chance here, but with only 25 seconds and no timeouts, I imagine they can't do anything other than that. So final play for Tua Tungavaloa, second down and three. Tyree Kill is somewhere out there, and if he's not going to be there, he's going to be on the Bills next game. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, not the dreaded flag. You know what this means. So, yes, that was defensive pass interference. Probably one of the worst calls in the history of the game right now. It should not place the ball at the five-yard line. But here you have the easiest touchdown in the world, and they're going to go to another overtime game. Are you serious? They're going to go for the two-point conversion. I actually really like this call. So, it's 20 at 27. This is for the win. Two yards out. Two lines up. Empty. Quick pass. No. Incomplete. Good defense right there, and the Bills will hold on. I love that play call by Mike McDaniel, but nonetheless, it's risky. It failed, and the Bills will survive with three lives. So let me fill you in how the Bills' wide receiver room looks like right now. We have two 99s now with Tyree Kill and Stephon Diggs and Terry McLaurin and Gabe Davis. Those are the four wide receivers. It's going to be really scary from here on out. So now 20 more teams remaining in 117 infected hexes, three more for the next strand. All right, who's next up? It's going to be the LA Rams. I think this result was kind of expected. Not too much commentary on this, but the Bills will win 21 to 9. And the infection has just been really killing it with these players still as recently. Another 99 overall. This time it's going to be Aaron Donald. And that's going to put us over 120 infected hexes, which is going to give us our third strand of the video. Now this one is actually pretty strong. It's the one we did not get to last episode but this one is called Incurable. And here's what it does. It's going to take the two highest players that are not already a 99 overall and boost them up to said 99 overall, and they can also no longer lose any players from any game they lose. And so the two players will be boosted up to a 99 overall was their highest rated players at the time, which is going to be Laramie Tunsil and Jordan Poyer. So both of them add on to the long list of 99 overalls that are now in the infected, including Tyree Kill, Laramie Tunsil, Jordan Poyer, Aaron Donald, and Stefan Diggs. All of these players, 99 overall. This virus is really top heavy but now they have to play a really top heavy team themselves it's the philadelphia eagles with 33 seconds left in this game we're from the 25 yard line it's an eight point game and here comes a blitz levante david with a shoestring tackle to get the sack on jalen hurts it's gonna make it third and 15 this is essentially the last play they don't care about the first down they care about the touchdown in which they're gonna get neither so it's game is over zero seconds and the bills will knock down another top heavy team and will steal another really good player, winning 21 to 13. There isn't even a reason for AJ Brown to join the infected because he would be wide receiver number four. So instead, I'm gonna boost up their O line even more. They now have Laramie Tunsil on the left side, and on the right tackle, it's now Lane Johnson. And now with 14 teams infected, this means our next team to get knocked down to the virus will give out our next vaccination at a total of 15 infected teams. And we're currently sitting at 139 infected hexes. Looks like the infected got a little hefty win streak going on. It'd be a shame if I just jinxed it. I don't think they're going to lose to the Jets, though. Yeah, a disease hasn't affected the Jets this much since Sam Darnold came up with Mono a few years ago, but nonetheless, they're going to lose 17-6. to That makes 15 infected teams, and with this win, we'll have the addition of a solid defensive player, Quinn and Williams. So now here's the map with 15 infected teams, which moves us up to the next vaccination. I'm not going to lie, this next vaccination is a little too strong, and it's probably going to be the final appearance you'll ever see in it in Infected, and that's because Heartbreaker is going to take away two hearts for their next loss for the infected. Now, thankfully for the infected, they got to this point with three lives, which means it's still going to take them two lives to go down to zero. If they were at two lives right now, they would have only had one life. That makes sense. All right, so before we spin, we'll take a look at the map because I want to explain this a little bit further. As I said, with three lives remaining, the heartbreaker vaccination is going to make it down to two lives because one of them is going to take away two hearts. Now, what I want to explain here is that considering there's 17 disinfected teams left, that means the infected has to go at least 17 17 and 1 for these next 18 games because if they lose another they're done so they have to find a way 
they at least get a huge win streak rolling right now. Let's see if they can do it. They already have quite a few games under their belt on this current win streak. Let's just see if they can keep it going further now against the Seattle Seahawks. Currently a one score game here in Seattle, but not until the Buffalo Bills make it 35 to 23 and the Seahawks cannot answer back. This is where this game is going to end. We're going to have 16 more wins. You could always use some more linebacker support. That's why I added Bobby Wagner. And this will bring us right to the dead center of 16 infected and 16 disinfected, but it also puts us over 160 total hexes, which means we have another strand. The infected are getting them pretty quick now. So this makes four out of five strands achieved for the infected. This one is duplication. And just how it sounds, the infected will get to steal two player steals per games they win. Half the league remaining, it will go to the Indianapolis Colts. All right, this one's a little ugly. Josh Allen and the infected Bills are down by six right now, but they're still in it. They can get a touchdown and take the lead. First down and 10 from the 26. Huge completion here. This is going to put them around the 40 six yard line that's gonna go to Stefan Diggs who's apparently wearing 87 now one minute remaining from the 42 now Josh Allen up the middle of the field another completion to Stefan Diggs puts it at the 18 five yards out Josh Allen goes towards the end zone this one's gonna be an easy touchdown hopefully it was in bounds this one's gonna go to Terry McLaurin they should go up by one here never mind I guess the call stands they actually did booth review it but nonetheless it's still a touchdown I guess he got both feet in bounds somehow 21 to 20 27 seconds for the Colts can Minshew Mania make an appearance for today the answer to your question is no. They can't kick a field goal here, but they can still get some more yards and call a timeout. Let's see if they can do that, unless they're going to go for the end zone here, which is not really smart because that's going to break it down to zero seconds. What kind of management is that? Nonetheless, the infection stays alive again. So this one point win for the infection will land them two players thanks to the duplication strand, the first being Quentin Nelson, and the second being X-Factor DeForest Bunkner. And this now leaves majority of the map infected with 17 infected and 15 disinfected. There is one thing I want to emphasize real quick before we continue on to our next game. At one point in this video, there's going to get to a point where the Bills just run out of cap room and they can't take any more players. Once they get to that point, that is their final infection team. They can't steal any more players. I think I decided that rule last episode. I can't remember or not. I don't know. I forgot to say at the beginning of this video, but so I might as well just say it now. The reason why I say that now is because I think it's going to happen soon, like real soon. But now the Atlanta Falcons are up next against the virus. You know, I give Taylor Heineke and the Atlanta Falcons Falcons credit because this game should have not been this close at all. I'm getting a little bit scared for the infected team. They are this good and only beating the Atlanta Falcons by two points. That's kind of scary. Fortunately for the Bills, we still haven't reached the cap limit, so we keep on adding on players. This time it's going to be AJ Terrell and Jesse Bates. And we'll continue further with 18 infected teams with 169 infected hexes. There's still a lot of tough teams on the wheel, so it's going to be pretty tough to pull through. And here's another one right here, the Dallas Cowboys. The Bills are putting all their chips on the table right now. 18 yards needed and an easy completion I was scared he wasn't gonna get there but Terry McLaurin actually caught it short but thanks to the NFL rules he got up and got the first down 50 seconds left nothing inbounds it has to go to the sidelines or be an end zone shot oh no it's a fumble Josh Allen can't pick it up so it's O-line has to dive on it but the flag comes in that's gonna stop the clock actually Holding offense? I think that might be a better thing than just letting the game go down to zero seconds. That holding penalty actually gave him a chance. Second down and 19 from the 30. This has to get towards the end zone, however. And there you have it, a completion. First down and goal in seven. How is an offensive holding call actually your saving grace? Game's not over, however. It's second down and goal from the seven. Allen's going to pass, of course. No, he's going to run. No, he decides to pass and delivers to Stephon Diggs. What a throw and a fake. I thought he was going to shoot for it himself. But that's a touchdown, extra point up one. Not a Justin Jefferson reference, but this was definitely a gritty win for the Buffalo Bills, pulling out again by one point. So yeah, I kind of just spoke it into existence. As you can see, we hit the Bills' salary cap. However, this is not a lost cause, because the final strand in this video will actually have a way around this. So now the Bills have reached their maximum, but the infection hasn't. You'll see later. The infection is still on a hefty win streak. They're now up to 19 infected and 13 clean standing. I am worried for the infected, however, because because the entirety of the AFC North is still on the board right now as the Steelers are next. I mean, to be fair, the Steelers are definitely the weakest of the four AFC North teams. They're yet to even play the Bengals and the Ravens. They did already lose to the Browns, but they're going to get a three-point win here. So now if we look back at the free agents, because the Bills can't pick up anymore, we have four really good players waiting to be claimed. Zach Martin's one of them. Micah Parsons another, and then the two for the Steelers we just got ended up being TJ Watt and Cameron Hayward. But if you were paying attention, because I sure wasn't, you can see we're up to 
20 infected teams, which means we are up to our fourth vaccination. So at our fourth vaccination slot, we're going to get our next one, which is cured. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a wheel spinner of the top 10 best players on the infected team right now. We're going to spin it twice, and then we're going to spin a random team that's currently in disinfected, and those two players will go to that disinfected team. So now on the screen right here is a wheel of the top 10 best players currently on the infected team by overall. We're going to spin this twice to get two results. The first player leaving will be Lane Johnson, the right tackle, and the second player leaving will be Micah Hyde. Okay, I think the Bills kind of lucked out, honestly. But what team will those two players be going to? It'll be the LA Chargers. And now you can see the LA Chargers have a new right tackle and a new free safety. Yeah, losing a right tackle and a safety when you have Jesse Bates in your bench is not really going to do much, and now they're going to play the Green Bay Packers. While I am generally surprised my Green Bay Packers stayed within seven in this game, but I knew they were not going to win from the start, so that's another win for the infected. So now two more Packers players are currently in free agency waiting to be picked up. It'll be Jair Alexander and Aaron Jones. 21 infected teams and 184 infected hexes. All right, beginning on the map, I need to make a stat correction because they're actually not at 184 infected hexes. It's actually 177. Don't know where I messed it up at, but nonetheless, we'll continue on from where we're at. 11 more teams remaining and we'll get down to the Detroit Lions. I knew the Lions were going to cause the Bills some issues, but if they get a first down here, this game is over. It's going to be a handoff and here's the first down to OJ Simpson. He's really been killing it today. I Once again, I shouldn't say that. And after taking the clock all the way down to zeros, they want to add on a few more points just to up up their total hexes. We'll finish this game winning 38-29. to 29. 10 more disinfected teams standing and the infected are 13 hexes away from their final strand. With 10 teams remaining, I'm surprised they still haven't lost a game yet. Now we're going to play the Tennessee Titans. So make it a 17-10 game. This is a pretty important kick for the Bills and it is up and Bass has drilled it. Well, what really should be Will Levis is Ryan Tannehill still and that's probably why they're going to lose this game. Wow, that looked brutal. DeAndre Hopkins just got Eiffel Towered on that last play. Now we're going to let Ryan Tannehill run the football and that was a very uncomfortable slide. Well, here's fourth down and goal from the 36 yard line. Ryan Tannehill looking to pass at least 10 yards. He's got it and more. This is going to be around the 10 yard line with 30 seconds. The Bills' red zone defense today has been kind of atrocious and it looks like it might carry on with this touchdown to DeAndre Hopkins. This is going to tie the game up. Whoa, hold up. They're going for two again. Another scenario like this. Ryan Tannehill for a pass. He got it? Oh my goodness. I mean, the Bills have three timeouts and 18 seconds left, but how did they let this slide? I mean, at this point, this is a lost cause. This might be the loss where they're going to lose two lives as Josh Allen is going to scramble. Can you scramble 60 yards for a touchdown? I didn't think so. This just means the Titans just stunned the Bills and the Bills have to go 10-0. Next 10 games cannot lose anymore. All right, so remember the incurable strand means that the infected cannot lose any more players from here on out, but there's bigger issues at stake because the heartbreaker vaccination just struck and it's taken off two lives which leaves the infected down the one. The final stretch begins now. Can they win 10 games in a row? It's going to start with a tough one against the LA Chargers. But apparently this matchup wasn't tough enough because the infected Bills got it done even though the Chargers stole two of their players not long ago. Now the disinfected are down to single digits and we only have 41 remaining tiles. Sorry if I look really tired. I'm recording this at 6am and now they're going to have to play the Cleveland Browns again. It's been a minute since they met with them. This time, however, it didn't seem to be a problem because they won by multiple scores, closing out 34 to 20. So now, as you can see, we only have 26 empty hexes remaining, only a quarter stands disinfected, and we have reached over 200 infected hexes, which means we get the final strand of the video, and this one is going to be really, really good. For our fifth and final strand, we have the new introduction to this series. This one is called Parasite. And here's what said strand does. The infected gets to play as the highest overall previously infected team and they get to add all extra player skills which they couldn't add to that team to that team. I know that's kind of confusing but we'll work through it right now. Before I reveal the Parasite team, do you want to take a guess at who it's going to be? The highest overall team that's infected right now. It's the Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> so if you remember, I've still been dropping players, but I haven't been adding them to the Bills. So you can see these are all the reserve players, the players that should have been on the Bills but didn't make it. So instead, all these players will get added to the Parasite team, which is going to be the Kansas City Chiefs. And now it's time to take a look at this team. Let's just take a look at some of the players, including Zach Martin. And then you're going to go down to Travis Kelsey, also down to Miles Garrett. And then the player from earlier, Lane Johnson, Micah Parsons, Chris Jones, TJ Watt, Von Miller, Micah Hyde, Jair Alexander, 
this team is insanely stacked. Now, I don't know why the Chiefs overall dropped to an 84. Just ignore that. But how this is going to work is they're going to take turns switching off playing each game. So this means the next game will be played the Chiefs, then it'll rotate back the Bills and back and forth just like that. So both these teams are now the infected teams. So we're beginning with the Chiefs, the final eight matchups. Next up with the Jaguars. It looks like the Parasite team means business as they take down the Jaguars 33 to 14. And with this, we have 25 infected teams. So back to the map, you can see there are no more white clear hexes. It's now all infected hexes. The only thing left to infect is the HQs held by all the teams. But what you can also see is there's 25 infected teams, which will bring us to our next vaccination. And this will be our very final power-up for today's video, which is going to be a vaccination, which is going to be the new one, Revive. So what this vaccination will do is that it's going to randomly select one infected team to come back to life to join the disinfected again. They would take their player back, and their team will gain five overall. So that means we're staying at eight teams disinfected. All right, so here's the 23 possible teams that could come back to life with which one is it going to be? It will be the LA Chargers. Oh man, again. So this is kind of funny because Lane Johnson and Micah Hyde were never originally on the Chargers. They were stolen from a different vaccination and now they're brought back to the Chargers once again with Micah Hyde and Lane Johnson returning to the Chargers. And not only that, their top players were also boosted by five overall. So Micah Hyde, Lane Johnson, now both 99 overalls, Derwin James 98, Keenan Allen 97, Joey Bosa 94, Justin Herbert 93. The Chargers are going to be the team to beat for the infected now. So these are the final eight teams. And I forgot to mention something. Player stealing is over. The Parasite team can't steal players and the Bills are already out of stealing players anyways. But next up, the Niners. Oh no. OJ Simpson has 120 yards and two touchdowns in this game. This would not be the first time he would kill his competition in the Bay Area. But his success on the ground today led up to this overtime kick which would put an end to this game against the Niners to make it seven more teams needed to be beaten. 37 to 34 victory in San Francisco. So only seven teams remaining back to the Kansas City Chiefs. And the Chiefs will play the Chicago Bears. Well, damn, we had prime COVID-19 come through. We're only down to six teams. Back to the Buffalo Bills, and they will play the Arizona Cardinals. Bills will sneak out of Arizona with a win. We have five more. This one's going back to the Chiefs, and they will play the Titans. Chiefs will win by 10, down to four. Back to Buffalo, and they will play the Cincinnati Bengals. Definitely surprised the Bengals didn't put up much of a fight, but now we're down to only three teams. Three more wins. And now back to the Chiefs, we will play the Denver Broncos. And well, the sky remains blue as the infected Chiefs will take down the Denver Broncos, which leaves us down to two more games. So yeah, we were just kind of flying by that for a second, but this is what we're left with. The final two teams is going to be two tough AFC matchups for both the Ravens, or excuse me, the Chiefs and the Bills. We have the Ravens and the Chargers. First up next will be the Bills playing whichever one of these teams. So which one of these two teams will the Bills play? And it's going to be the LA Chargers, man. It was meant to be. The Bills have already made it to the midfield against the Chargers. Just a couple more yards and they can get a game-winning field goal to send this to the Chiefs to take the final game against the Ravens. And they're going to get more than they asked for right here with a pickup to the 26 with Tyree Kill. Timeouts are being called. All right, Bills, send us to the final game so the Parasite team can win it for you. It's going to be the Chiefs and Ravens up next, the final game. So it all comes down to this final game right here. Will the Chiefs win this one for the infection? Or will the Disinfected win thanks to the Baltimore Ravens? The final game, the Disinfected are gearing up to scoring a touchdown from the one-yard line, which they're down by a point right now. Lamar Jackson goes RPO, and it does not work. It fails miserably. They lose four yards, third and goal. It's just mind-blowing. Like, you have to get the end zone here, and they couldn't do it. Fourth down in goal. They're going to have to kick the field goal and give the ball back to the Chiefs with the two-minute warning and three timeouts. This is the make it 27 to 25. Justin Tucker should be automatic here. Kansas City gets the ball back. First play from Chiefs possession. It's a big completion. That's going to help big time. And it's just now the two-minute warning. 90 seconds from midfield. Mahomes scanning, delivering. Open receiver. Guess who? It's Travis Kelsey. We've gone full circle, man. Because of the safeguard vaccination, it prevented the Bills from stealing him which means now he gets time to shine and he does it perfectly at the 27. So the Ravens can't stop the clock anymore, but the Chiefs are in a third down and six. They don't want to give the ball back. They want to end the game here and now. So a first down would be nice. Aaron Jones takes the handoff. Roquan Smith drills him into the ground. Fourth down and six. We'll have to kick it from here. The kick will go with about 40 seconds left. It should be a one point lead. Sure enough, the Ravens get the ball back.
back about 35 seconds. 32 seconds remaining, second and 10, still from the 25. Lamar Jackson trying to get at least 10, can't, third and 10 now. Jair Alexander was on the coverage, forces it to a third and 10, kind of get at least 10 yards here. Lamar has to scramble out, can't escape a sack by Miles Garrett, another big time player on the Kansas City Chiefs. Fourth and 12. And matter of fact, they had no way to stop the clock, so the clock just ran down the zeros, and the virus has fully taken over the United States of America. The infected will win. And now at the bottom, we can change it to say 32 teams infected, zero disinfected, and the magic number has been reached. 231 infected hexes out of 231. And I showed this exact same graphic last time, but this time it's a different result because the infected Bills and Chiefs, they finished with 231 out of 231 tiles. Of course, that's 100% of the map and there are no survivors. They finished off with a record on 32 and 4 and they only had 24 player steals, which is surprising to me. Now, what's funny about this is the L's they took. I would never expect these four teams out of any teams in the league to beat the Bills and Chiefs, even if they weren't infected. The Cardinals, Panthers, and Browns and Titans. At least they found a way to win. But yeah, that's all I got for NFL Infected Episode 2. Thank you guys for waiting patiently, and I will see you guys next time.